What's up guys, Skidder Rampage here. So today we do have some fun stuff for this Funko News video. We do have first looks at some SDCC 2022 Funko Pops, as well guys as we do have some brand new One Piece rumors like Buggy the Clown possibly coming. We also do have a ton of brand new Funko Pop announcements from Funko and more. So let's check it out. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Funko Pop video. Today we do have quite a few updates in this video. We do have a new event happening in October that's kind of like a horror event that we're going to talk about, um, as well as brand new announcements from Funko, like a ton of new stuff today. We do have some early looks of some SDCC 2022 Funko Pops, as well guys, there's a couple different rumors to go over. So let's jump into it all. And just to remind you guys, if you're enjoying the videos lately, make sure to hit the like button down below. It helps me out a lot. Now, firstly, Funko did announce a new event happening in October, on October 7th more specifically, in New York City, and that is Funko Fright Night here. Now this will actually be taking place during NYCC, but it's a separate event from New York Comic Con, if anybody was wondering. I'm assuming they're going to have kind of like a horror theme kind of going, given it is October, so the month of Halloween is essentially, and uh, we should see some kind of like a uh, Halloween event or something like that. Now I think this is just one of many events they're having this year, like Fun Days as well as Fright Night, and then they're going to be at NYCC as well as SDCC, so this is just another one of their smaller events. They'll probably have some winter events as well for December, uh, but yeah guys, I'm only assuming we're going to see like maybe like Blacklight horror pops or just other horror style pops, and it's just going to be a horror themed event over in New York City. Personally, I think this would be kind of fun to go to. I mean, I'm not a big horror person, but I've never really been to like a Funko Funko event outside of like uh, seeing Funko Pops at like a Comic-Con, for example. So I've never been to a Funko event. New York City isn't exactly my favorite place and it's probably a very expensive trip, but I guess depending on what pops are there, it could be fun. I don't know, I'm gonna look more into this for sure. And even though it is a while away, let me know down below what you guys think will be at this Funko event. Next up, we did get some brand new WWE announcements and we got a couple cool pops to be honest. Uh, in the first picture here, we do actually have Finn Balor there as an Amazon exclusive, so I think that's like his third or fourth pop now. As well guys, as we do actually have RVD. Now, when I first looked at this, I thought this was Jack Swagger, I'm not gonna lie. Holding, um, what is he holding actually? Oh, it's a, it's a case saying RVD. I thought it was the money in the bank he was holding. I really, really thought this was Jack Swagger, to be honest. That looks so much like him. It's not even funny. That looks nothing like Rob Van Dam to me. Anyways, though, um, it does. it is a pop and pin exclusive to GameStop as well if you guys do want to pick it up. If it is live, I will throw the link down below for you guys. Now, we also did have a couple commons. We had Dusty Rhodes in the middle there, as well as Riddle there and Randy Orton, where he does have the mustache. <laughs> now, I will say with this pop, it shows a lot of his age for some reason. I don't know how they capture that. Maybe it's just the facial hair, but I don't know if this pop really flatters Randy Orton in my opinion. Uh, as far as like Riddle, I'm sorry, but I've never understand or understood, excuse me, the appeal of this character. I found him like super goofy and I know that's like how he's portraying the character and everything like that. I personally just not a fan. I don't get the hype essentially. When he kind of comes on the screen, it makes me kind of want to turn it off. It's just too goofy for me essentially, you know? Um, and I'm not saying I don't care if the WWE has like silly moments and things like that. I just, the scooter coming in like that, it's just, you know, it, it can only be so funny in my opinion. And uh, these are just aspects as to why I slowly stopped watching WWE. It wasn't as just fun to watch in my opinion. But anyways, that's just me. Let me know down below, do you guys like Riddle's character? I think there's some likable aspects of the character, but overall, just not personally a fan for me. And I mean, I guess that's just me. Anyways, though, it's a pretty cool lineup, though. I think a lot of people really do want a Riddle Pop. He has a lot of fans, which is awesome for him. And um, uh, as well as Randy Orton, a lot of people are excited for that. Finn Balor, a lot of people excited for that. Again, RVD just looks like Jack Swagger to me, and Dusty Rhodes was really cool as well. So I do think it was a really solid lineup for Funko to release. There's a ton of other characters they could definitely do, though, so I'm super excited to see what else they release in the future. Next up, available over at Walmart right now, if you do want to pick it up, we did have a Thor Walmart comic cover here, and it's actually a little bit different than the other comic cover, I believe, so there are two Thor ones. I felt like that was a little weird, to be honest. They release, like, so close to each other. Anyways, though, this one does look good as well, and if you do want to pick it up, it's currently available at Walmart for pre-order. Next up, guys, make sure to head over to your local GameStop and if you're happening to pick up the brand new Midnight Suns game that was, I think, announced today? I think it was announced today. I don't know, but I watched the trailer today. Surprisingly, it actually looked good. 
I didn't fully understand what was going on in the trailer and why this crazy lady came and started infecting other people, um, but it looked cool with like Venom and Hulk and Spider-Man and there's all kinds of different things going on in that game. Uh, so I'll definitely have to look more into it, but uh, the trailer did make it look kind of fun. Anyways though, this, uh, this game should be coming out in October if you guys are wondering, but anyways. The main focus is, and why it's related to Funko, is if you actually pre-order the game uh, with an in-store purchase of physical copy of Legendary Edition, you actually get this uh, exclusive pop. I think it's exclusive anyways, uh, but you actually get this pop when you order the Legendary Edition. The only problem I have with this is that I feel like it should come with like the base game because like these games now these days are around $70, especially for like a PS5 or an Xbox um, God, I can't remember the name of the new Xbox. Xbox X? Is that what it's called? I don't know. <laughs> I don't really follow. I don't play Xbox. So, anyways, though. I feel like it should come with a standard copy, not like the Legendary Edition, one of the more expensive editions. Um, but anyways, it is what it is. I guess it's a free item either way. So, you get your money in the item. I do feel like once pre-orders stop, this figure might be a little bit more rare. I'm not exactly sure how it kind of goes because they've done exclusive like runs like this. Like if you order the Ultimate Ninja Storm uh, game, you actually got this little mini Naruto figure, like the old gold one uh, from Funko. So, you know, it's just kind of like an exclusive collab to help sell the game essentially. So I guess that's what they're going for. Uh, the pop does look pretty cool to be honest. Like I like the design of the colors. I think it'd be cool glow in the dark to be honest. Anyways though, just to let you guys know, if you guys do pre-order the Legendary Edition, you do actually get a free Funko Pop also. Now sharing from Aether over on Instagram, he did actually give us a look at the contents of the Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness box here. The movie's been out for a while as well as the contents and pictures have been out forever, so I'm just not going to put a spoiler warning anymore. Anyways, taking a look at the box here, uh, we do have the two pops here, we do have the Supreme Strange statue, as well as the Doctor Strange where he does have the, uh, the dragons coming out of his hands. You do have a black light t-shirt of Wanda, uh, America, as well as Wong and Doctor Strange. Actually does look pretty good, as well as an America uh, Chavez sticker, as well as a Wanda or Scarlet Witch uh, enamel pin. And then we do have kind of like the, uh, just the paper slip that comes in there showing you everything. So the box is pretty solid, to be honest. I think the t-shirt was pretty cool to be black light. Um, I think that's really nice. The Scarlet Witch pin is really cool, and the two pops are really nice. I really like the statue over the, uh, the dragon hands one personally, but overall I think the box contents do look really good. So, as far as when this box is going to come, I really couldn't tell you. Amazon hasn't really said anything about it, and I'm still waiting on my box to this day. Now, we finally got this announcement, and that was the Linkin Park pop album reanimation here. If I'm not mistaken, I feel like people have had this one in hand for a while now, because I also saw it at the expo. Unless I'm mistaking it with a different one, I feel like I've just seen this one for the last couple months, and then Funko's just now announcing it. I have no idea what's going on with that, but it is available for pre-order if you guys do want to pick it up now, and it, I think it should be coming relatively soon within the next month or two. Now, announced today from Funko, we did actually have another piece in the Disney villain set, and we do have Scar with the three hyenas as a pop deluxe here. Actually, it looks pretty cool, to be honest. I think it's going to be looking really cool when it's all connected together. Uh, but yeah, this looks really awesome, to be honest. So he has his paw kind of up, and then they have all their, you know, kind of derpy faces. The one sticking the tongue out looks kind of funny. This is a really cool deluxe. I really like what they went with. And then you guys do have an inbox look at here as well. Uh, villains assemble Scar with Hyenas, and it is an exclusive there. Now, shared from IM and JR over on Facebook and Disc Trackers, we do have a look at some of the brand new SDCC 2022 Funko Pops. First up, from friends, we do have Hugsy the Penguin here. So if you don't know, this Hugsy the Penguin pop, um, I believe this was Joey's like stuffed animal when he was a kid, and then he actually gives it to the baby later on, and then he kind of has like a meltdown because he gave it to the baby and he wants it back, and he gives her a different one, and then she doesn't, I, and then it's like off-brand. I saw some comments saying, is it the off-brand one or the authentic one? So it was pretty funny. Funny enough, I've actually seen this episode. I saw this episode on a uh, rerun on TV when I was like staying in a hotel, so I, I felt like it was kind of funny that I haven't seen much of Friends, but they actually made a pop of one of the few episodes that I've fully seen of Friends, so that was pretty cool. At least I hope I have that right. Let me know down below. Anyways, though, a lot of people are really excited about this. Now, we also did get a full look at that sticker there, and I'm going to say not one of their best. I think this sticker is really, really ugly for darker pops like this. And if you take a look at a couple more pops, we do have He Who Remains as well as Serpenter there from G.I. Joe. And the sticker just does not look good. It does not flatter the pop at all, and it's just, it's really ugly on the pop, so not my favorite. I think the official sticker looks a lot better in this case over the shared sticker, but 
you know, I'm just going to get whatever's available to me, to be honest, and I'll just deal with it. But uh, both of these pops do look really good as well. So it does look like a lot of these pops are actually following that rumored slash leaked list for SDCC. So I'm kind of curious to see what else does come. Now, what we have left to share in this video is a couple different rumors shared from uh, Pop Holmes Discord as well as Scrooge McDuckTales over on Instagram. So firstly, we do have Composite Superman here. And honestly, when I saw this, I was like, oh, that's, that's interesting. So it has the look of Batman and Superman there, kind of like stitched together on some of the images that I saw. It was like very kind of disturbing to see. I think it'll make for a really cool pop and DC fans will love this so much. That is very interesting in my opinion. Now we also did have One Piece Sanji here in his number three suit as an exclusive. Um, unfortunately, I don't know too much about that, but um, I know it's pretty far into the show, so it might even be spoilers to be honest. Uh, but yeah, it does look pretty cool to be honest. I think a lot of people really like that. As well as we do have 18 inch supersized uh, Vegeta here. I believe this is not going to be the kid Vegeta pop. Um, I'm not sure why they use that one as a reference because I, I really think that this one is going to be, ooh, I don't even know if I have one out here, but the uh, the original Vegeta, like the SDCC version where he's just kind of like standing there essentially. Let me see if I can dig one out. I know I have to have at least, I have to have at least one. Ah. I, I think it's Vegeta number 10. I think it's, I think that's the number, Vegeta number 10 for that one. Anyways, though, um, as far as, like, pops goes, I, Vegeta 18-inch, I don't think we need it. We already got a 10-inch recently, and again, the 18-inch is most likely going to be that same mold. Uh, One Piece Sanji in the number 3 suit, I think that's going to be really cool. My brother told me a little bit about that, like, looking more at the suit. I think I uh, asked him about it at one point, and he was like, don't look into that. That's spoilers. So that's one of the few things he didn't tell me much about about One Piece. So um, unfortunately, he loves the show. So I'm a lot like I know a lot more about One Piece than I probably should have given the episode that I'm currently at. But it's fine. I don't really care about spoilers too much, to be honest. Anyways, though, um, this is a pretty cool lineup. I really, really want to see that composite, like, Superman. I want to see how that pop turns out, as well as the Sanji one. Sounds really cool. Vegeta, I could definitely pass on. Now, lastly, we do also have another One Piece rumor, and that is Buggy the Clown here. Now, a lot of people are going to be really excited about this one. Unfortunately, we don't have very much information on this one. We just know that it's possibly coming in the future. However, though, the possibilities of Buggy the Clown are definitely just endless because they could make a chase variant situation where he's normal and then cut up in the chase or just kind of backwards, to be honest. I think there are a couple cool possibilities for a an exclusive or just regular Buggy the Clown pop. So I'm super excited to see if this one does come and what Funko does with it. And let me know down below, One Piece fans, would you collect a Buggy the Clown Funko pop? Well, guys, that's everything that I have for you today for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button down below and comment down below what you're most excited about. I'm definitely excited about Buggy the Clown. I think that's going to be really cool, as well as that Sanji seems really interesting and the composite uh, Superman looks really nice as well. Um, I'm not really too interested in any of the WWE pops, for example. The Funko Fright Night um, over in October in uh, New York City, I'm kind of interested to see what's at that event, as well as the uh, the Iron Man like from Midnight Suns looked pretty cool, as well as I'm still waiting on my Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness box. And uh, SCCC reveals, we got a couple so far, I'm really curious to see what else they announce. But again, let me know down below what you're most excited about. Now, I do want to say a big shout out to all the Patreon supporters of the channel. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. I absolutely love and uh, cherish your support. Thank you guys so much, really. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We share a lot of information in there. We share updates in there that I don't always share in videos. And there are all kinds of cool different perks in there, as well as like restock news updates and multiple different things. So check out that link down below to join a fun community. As well, guys, as we do have a Facebook group with over 13,000 members that you can join. That's buy, sell, and trade. And make sure to follow all my social medias, all at Skittle Rampage for more updates. All right. Love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.